Dear friends, I regret not being with you today to celebrate Equinet's anniversary. As former chair of ECRI and currently as Commissioner for Human Rights, I can assure you that the fight for equality and for more inclusive societies is very close to my heart. The 10-year mark is an opportunity to celebrate progress in laying the groundwork for more equal societies. Now we have anti-discrimination laws in more and more countries, covering more and more grounds of discrimination. We also have reinforced institutional frameworks with equality bodies and increased international cooperation. It's also time to renew our commitment to achieve real change in the lives of many people who still experience discrimination on a daily basis. Through my monitoring work across 47 member states, I've seen that stereotypes, prejudices, and discrimination remain widespread. For example, we've not made enough headway in curbing deeply ingrained intolerance against Roma, against Jewish people, or LGBTI people. We're facing challenging times, especially in the wake of terrorism and increased migration flows. Populist politicians have opened the floodgates of hate, hate speech, and violence. Our societies are being divided by an us-against-them dichotomies along ethnic, religious, sexual orientation, and other dividing lines. But my work has shown me time and again that national equality bodies can make a huge difference in people's lives, and they can achieve societal change. They do so in many ways. They do so by hearing individual complaints and bringing discrimination laws to life by initiating strategic lit litigation on discrimination. For example, when the French Défenseur de Droit successfully took up ethnic profiling and police identity checks. They do so by taking courageous decisions. For example, when the National Council for Combating Discrimination in Romania handed down a fine to the president of the country for racist speech. They do so by working with employers to raise awareness about discrimination in the workplace, using methods such as testing or anonymous recruitment procedures. And they do so by helping prevent discrimination through research and policy advice. However, to be able to deliver, equality bodies need adequate funding, staff, and independence. Strong institutional independence is absolutely critical, especially to win the confidence of marginalized minorities. It's also crucial to make our equality work better known uh, and to communicate more effectively, not only with the members of groups impacted by discrimination, uh, many of whom still don't report uh, discrimination, but also with the public at large. Equality bodies are on the front lines of the fight for a more equal Europe. I can assure you that the Council of Europe, and especially my office, stand ready to support your work. I wish you very fruitful discussions.